Croatia has a slew of attractive qualities. Delicious food, kind-hearted people, a storied culture, and a rich history. But if I had to choose just one thing that embodies what Croatia is to me, it'd be her incredible natural beauty. With the United States Tour Operators Association, I traveled to three regions in Croatia, and each one literally took my breath away. In Istria, the hills rolled in green majesty. On the Dalmatian Islands, steep sun-kissed mountains curved down to the impossibly blue sea. And in Split, an ancient city was dramatically positioned between the craggy snow-capped mountains and the Adriatic. Each region met me with a different but uniquely powerful natural terrain that colored each day. Whether biking with United States Tour Operators Association member VBT bicycling and walking vacations or just exploring by foot. With the sea breeze in your hair, it's hard not to fall head over heels in love with the raw beauty of Croatia. The most scenic stretches of bike paths, the most charming towns, and just the most incredible slice of life experiences while on the Dalmatian islands of Brač and Havar. Brač has a rugged nature and an authentic culture. Old customs are still alive here. As we explored by bike, we passed lavender-scented fields, olive groves clinging to mountaintops, and cruised in incredible towns like Puchiza, which was my favorite. This town is famous for its white stone, used to make Diocletian's palace, and still today this marble is held in very high regard. The old world charm of Puchiza makes it the perfect stop after a long bike ride. Postira, our home base, was the definition of quaint. Tourists were few and far between. There were only a handful of restaurants and shops, and the focus here was on the simple life, and it was good. We glided through many more towns, some no bigger than a square with a church, but each had the local magic of Dalmatia. Sometimes the beaches were so overwhelmingly attractive, we had to pull off and get our feet wet. Zlatni Rat, located at the base of the most fun downhill of my life, is Bracha's most popular beach. I didn't know heaven could exist on earth. Just a short boat ride away, the world-renowned island of Havar lives up to its reputation as a posh destination. It equaled Brach with its alluring waters, vibrant hillsides, and small town charm. The town of Havar was built on the hills surrounding a majestic harbor filled with stunning sailboats and yachts. The town itself seemed to have almost organically sprung up around this glorious water. A fort crested the top of the hill and had the best vantage point over the city. Ferries transport passengers to and from these islands, and a major hub is the portside city of Split. A hike up Marianne Hill displayed the massive mountain range that lay just behind the city, sloping down to the sea. With this location, it was no wonder that Split has been a prominent settlement dating back to BC. The city surrounds Diocletian's palace, and the ancient walls were filled with life. Farmers markets, fish markets, and other local vendors, all bustling along the cafe-filled promenades and narrow alleys. And a huge part of the landscape of Split is the actual ocean, which the locals and the tourists couldn't seem to get enough of, especially at sunset. For miles and miles, all you can see in Istria is lush, virgin countryside, dabbled with hilltop towns. My USTOA experience brought me to this northern peninsula, where the cobbled streets of Motovan set the stage as my home. And this hauntingly beautiful town boasted some drool-worthy eats and picture-perfect moments of daily life, unchanged for decades. Surrounding us were even more enchanting towns like the seaside Novograd, a medieval town surrounded by water. Istria's fertile landscape gave way to plentiful farms like Ipsha, an olive grove, and hillside vineyards like Benvenuti, as well as dense woods filled with undiscovered truffles. Like the islands, Split, and here in Istria, Croatia's landscape was just a feast for the eyes.